and get Lady Foot Locker. <laughs> I need to take this to the food court so everyone can enjoy it. I was at the mall getting myself a new smartphone. Everyone's got a smartphone these days, you know what I mean? But I think my phone is too smart. My phone stole my girlfriend. <laughs> Caught in bed together, you know, the little backlighting was on, Pandora radio playing smooth jazz. Yeah. And that son of a bitch was on vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay being single, I just hang out with my friends more, but my friends are kind of dumb. The other day I was talking to one of my friends and the word juggernaut came up in a conversation. And he looks at me and goes, what's a juggernaut? I kind of believe it. Are you that stupid, really? It's an astronaut with big boobies. It's the same guy that comes over to my house and he looks around and he's like, dude, your furniture's gay, man. So I happen to know this is a heterosexual, okay? Get one. But when my friends were, uh, we were all little kids, we also ride bikes around the neighborhood and stuff, and uh, I was kind of bored, so my first bike only had one training wheel on it. So I got really good at riding clockwise. <laughs> one time my buddies came over, they were like, hey, we're all going over to Billy, you're gonna play some baseball, you wanna go? I was like, yeah, I do. Wait, are there any left turns? Because <laughs> if there are, I can't go. See some of you guys are drinking, that's good. I made up a drink of my own once that has uh, light rum, dark rum, and laundry detergent. Oh, it's called a Mai Tai. <laughs> Makes you drunk and fresh as a spring meadow. You know what else people are doing to get high or whatever you want to call it? They're snorting bath salts. That's dumb, man. You know how I know these people are dumb? Last month, 32 people drowned. That's dumb. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I'm smart. I figured out a way to win the lottery better. That's right. Every once in a while, you see someone who won the lottery, but then like three or four states over, someone else splits it with them. They have to split. Get top it away. Yeah. What I do is I buy nine tickets with exactly the same numbers. That way, if I have to split it, I still get 90%. <laughs> Genius. Not only am I smart, I'm also a smart ass, so uh, you ever get pulled over by the cops, they always ask the same thing. Do you know why I pulled you over? Shouldn't you know that already? So I'm a smart ass, so last time I got pulled over, he says, do you know why I pulled you over? Because I'm riding on four donuts? No. Because I run a brothel out of my back seat? Has you gone mad with syphilis? No, you killed four people in 2008. All oh, right, I forgot about that. Actually, right about now, I thought I was in some trouble. But I'm white, so he let me off for the warning. Okay, let's take it. I'm really not a racist, I swear. I like learning. You can learn a lot from people of other cultures, religions, and stuff like that. For example, I used to work with a group of people, all of them were African Americans, except for me, which was great. I learned some stuff I didn't even know I didn't know. For example, did you know there's two F's in the word bathroom? It's true. I learned that. <laughs> Come down, I do some you know, There used to be a saying that was really cute, you know, he used to say, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. It was really funny until we got infested with bed bugs all over the country, right? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny now. Now it's like, good night, keep your mouth shut tight. Those bed bugs will get in there and harvest your organs. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Jenny. Last time I did a show here it was kind of cool. After the show, someone asked me for my autograph. I was flattered, you know, but it was the bartender after he swiped my Visa card. <laughs> Of a deal, really. <laughs> well, I'd like to stay and hang out with you guys more. You're awesome, but I have an early morning job interview at Lady Foot Locker. Yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs>